Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here, and I'm going to do another quick video with the Landroid. In one of my other videos, or the my three month follow up video, somebody asked about if the Landroid runs over pine cones or sticks. And so I went and I found a couple pine cones, found a couple sticks, and I'm gonna run the Landroid over them just so you can see you know, what it does to it. it. Is it gonna chop them up? Is it gonna run over them with no issues? Are the pine cones gonna get stuck underneath it? And so without further ado, let's go ahead and watch the tests. Okay, so the sticks I got, they're just, you know, sticks I went and found that were laying down underneath our trees. I'm assuming if it's fallen into the yard, this is about the size that they're gonna be. You know, I'm not gonna go get no big tree trunk or, you know, huge tree branch because you're also gonna pick those up. But these sticks I think are gonna be pretty good representation of what you're gonna find and what the Landroid is going to run over. And I also have some pine cones that we went and found. So just to give you an idea, you know, this one's about three inches wide. This one's about three and a half, you know, three and a half. And then we have the small ones that are, you know, that one's one and a half. That one is one inches. So they kind of run the gamut from one inch to three and a half. This one's about two and a half. I run my Landroid on two, which is about two inches. And so the clearance, if you look, it's about three inches actually from the ground to the little plastic, you know, underneath. I think the bigger pine cones, you know, this one and this one, they might just get pushed around Whereas the smaller ones are actually gonna go underneath and we'll see if they get stuck or if it chops them up or chops them in half and I don't know, we will see. All right, so before I begin running over the pine cones and the sticks, I just wanna let you all know that I'm actually using last year's blades. I haven't put on new blades yet this year because I didn't wanna ding them all up on pine cones and sticks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the, the tests. Okay, so the stick cut in half. And then hopefully the, the audio picked up, but, and then it drug it. So it kind of got stuck right there is where it started. And then it kind of got stuck underneath. And you know, you can see where it kind of stripped. The bark got kind of stripped away from the stick. There you go. So we didn't actually cut it. I'm assuming it got stuck underneath there and then the blades were just ever so slightly skimming over the top of this. And then eventually it got unstuck and then just fell out. So that was the stick. Next we will do the pine cone. We'll do all these small pine cones first just because I'm assuming what's gonna happen is it's gonna run over them and it's not even the blade's not even going to touch them. Here's a gratuitous doggy shot if you're into that type of stuff. This is my dog Molly. She's a Belgian Malinois and about 11 years old, I believe. Wherever I am, she usually is. Little pine cone, little pine cone, little pine cone, and then a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. I'll even put it blades up or spread portion up. Okay, so that one, it went right over them. Except for this one on the end where it kinda chopped the little tips off. That was about it. So now we will do the bigger ones. You know, the wider ones, I think two and a half to three and a half inches is what all these ones are. So let's see how they do. For this one, I got one and then two by itself. And then, you know, when you're mowing your yard, not everything falls by itself. So then I got a little group here, a little group of three. And we'll see how the lawnmower does with this one. Okay. 
Okay, so on two, obviously it just mowed right over them. So I'm gonna switch this down to one, lower it as low as it can get, in case somebody wants to mow the yard at a one and see if it uh, can run over pine cones. So let's go. All right, so if you can see, what happened is the pine cones actually got stuck. Here's one on the wheel. And then here's one. Put the camera down. This one got stuck right here. And then there was actually one that was above the wire. All right. Or not above the wire, above the cutting wheel. It was stuck up there. It's kind of dark, so I don't know if you can see it or not. But the ones that it did cut, it cut it pretty good, I think. And as we go back, you know, here's a piece of it. Okay, so that concludes our test. I think if you have pine cones in your yard and sticks, safe to say it's going to chop them up or it might get stuck underneath it and you might hear that funny, you know, that buzzing sound because it's above the cutting wheel. But it's an easy fix. You just flip it up and then pull it out and then send it on its merry way. But if you have pine cones, I would not, not get this for fear that it won't cut them up because as you can see, it does a, a pretty good job of cutting that what it can hit you know, on a two, it didn't really touch any of the pine cones, but when I lowered it down to a one, it chopped them up pretty good. You know, here's that's all that's left of one of the pine cones. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Um, you know, I love the Landroid. I love the fact that it saves me time. And, you know, anytime I can save mowing the grass or doing outside yard work, you know, I can do other stuff, hanging out with my family watching YouTube, whatever. So I'm a big fan of that. So if you have any other questions about the Landroid, anything you want me to do, I know somebody asked once about how the zoning works. I plan on doing a video on the zoning, you know, zone A, zone B, zone C, setting it up and letting the Landroid work and see how that goes. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other questions about the Landroid, feel free to drop them below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. But until next time, have a great day.